I know I'm late to the game, but I'm about to be reviewing Suicide Squad that came out in 2021. Look, the very first Suicide Squad was better than the second Suicide Squad. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, why is this guy saying this? I'm going to tell you why I'm saying this. The very first Suicide Squad had one of the greatest soundtracks of all time. It was the first time it introduced us to Viola Davis as Amanda Waller and Harley Quinn, played by Margot Robbie. This movie, even though it had its imperfections, was bold. And it gave us Captain Boomerang and managed to make him very likable. And so while there were plot holes in it, you still walked out of this film having fun. This second film, of course, with Idris Elva, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, uh, Flag, Vala Davis as uh, Amanda Waller, okay, Polka Dot Man, you know, the King Shark. Of course, we have these new characters, but they seem way too cautious. You know, it's almost as though they were watching that first film and they were like, we can't do that. We can't make that mistake. We can't make that mistake. We can't make that mistake. And while they succeeded, the film was good. Nobody's talking about this movie. Now, when it came out, people were saying it's one of the greatest films of all time. One of the greatest superhero films. Yada, yada, yada. Nobody's talking about this film. But you still have Jared Leto as the Joker. All of these memes talking about him and talking about him and talking about him. Uh, Harley Quinn as Har or, or Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. The first film, it just it's something about your first man. It's something about when they give it to you for the first time, you just remember it. In the second film, it's yeah, it's it's fun, but I ain't gonna be talking about this movie when I leave the theater. I'm not going to be talking about this movie a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. But when I seen that first movie, the first Suicide Squad in film, I said to myself, this movie is hilarious. Y'all still remember when, when that, I don't even remember her name. She She's that, that model that played the villain, Enchantress, I believe was her name. Well, she said, you don't have the balls. <sighs> Everybody. In a theater was cracking up. Even even if that wasn't a line meant to be funny, it was still funny. You still walk out thinking to myself, I can't believe they took those risks. In this second film, they don't take any risk. They just, okay, we're going to give you the characters. We're going to give you the plot. We're going to give you, okay... And boom, shut out. This is the movie. In the first movie, they were like, boom, 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 boom. And while you didn't like some of those boom, booms, you can still respect that they came at you hard charging. Like they came at you ready to entertain. The second movie is just, oh, okay, um, here, we're going to give you this. Um, we're going to give you this, this, and, and we're going to put some fun inside there. Okay, okay. And that's the movie. Package it up. Give it to you. Did you like that? And it's like, yeah, but I mean, it was something about that other one, that other flavor. All in all, this movie was, I, I, I ain't even say what the movie was about. You probably seen it. All in all, this movie was cautious. I didn't see any plot holes in it, but it was forgettable. And in the grand scope of things, it was average. The first one was so much more fun. And those were my thoughts for this pause button, man.